Hey, okay, so this is gonna actually be perfect. You could probably see little Miss Thule down there on the floor. Say hi to the camera, Thule. Hi. I hope you can see us. So, hi. So this is Thule. Thule, say hi to Facebook. This is my partner's dog. And um, <laughs> she's here to help me have a great day today. Huh? Yeah, and it's already going really great, huh? We played frisbee. Yeah, and we cuddled and we massaged. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's just to help me clean, right? You're really good at helping cleaning. Right now, she's laying in one of my messes that I'm working on cleaning. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> Hi. So, good morning, guys. <sighs> I'm, um... I'm feeling really good while also feeling tired. Oh, um, tired and come here and a bit overwhelmed. Um, Rark! Oh, there we go. Last week was like intense for me, and there was I was I was not feeling well physically emotionally just moving through a lot and um I feel like I'm getting my moon um so I'm not feeling the greatest today <sighs> I'm feeling like an emotional basket case the last few weeks and um yeah <laughs> I'm feeling messy and I'm learning to frolic in my mess, celebrate my mess, clean my mess. Um, yeah. Hi, Truly. You're helping me today, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm um, genuinely considering getting a small dog. Um, the process of getting a guide dog takes a long time and I've already been trying and for me I'm feeling like I really need a dog right now. Being alone has been really hard and intense and scary on me with being blind and um yeah I feel like Yeah, I'm in this deep place of inquiry, like, what do I do, you know, what am I doing, how do I, how do I really celebrate my life, how do I get back to, like, for me when I say get back to, because I feel like I really haven't been living my life fully and wholly for the last couple years-ish now, and, um, yeah. So, at least this uh, last weekish now, I've been really sitting with all of this and stopped talking to or seeing clients so I can really focus on myself and what's going on in my world and as well as my relationship. Um, me and my partner have been having a lot of challenges. You know, we both have other things going on in our lives that are challenging. <laughs> and then... And then we come together and there's stuff there. Um, <sighs> so taking this time away from, you know, just seeing like, what, what can I take away and take breaks from so that I can focus on these things that are really important to me, like this relationship and my relationship with myself and my relationship to my work, my relationship to life. Um, yeah, oh, she's being so cute. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at this morning, and I'm. Um, I think I'm still going to be pretty inwards and turtly. Hey, you keep walking into the camera, Bubby. Um, but I have a lot to do here at the temple, and cleaning, and 
revamping yesterday. I moved around this room, which I've been needing to do so bad. And so it feels really good. I needed this change. Like change helps me when I move around my home. It helps me. I remember when I was a little kid, I constantly want to move my bedroom around. Um, yeah, something about it. It just it like creates movement and creates change for me. Um, as a blind person, though, it could be a little disorienting. Like I remember um, in the beginning stages of going blind, I really started like questioning my moving things around a lot. Like, is this going to work? Like you keep, you know, people I said, like you move things around all the time. How do you find it? You know, um, but yeah, I, I haven't figured out the art of being me and being blind. <laughs> and that's basically where I'm at. Like, all right, how do I do this? I don't know how to. And right now I feel like I've taken a break from a lot of the things that I feel like are uh, overwhelming. Like, oh, I have to do this. I have to do that. You know, these are all the things I need to do to get to where I need to be. But I'm taking even a pause from some of those things, like my tech training, um, and just letting myself be where I am right now and love myself as I am right now. Um, not creating any story around like, what if, you know, what if I never learned how to do certain things? Can, uh, can I love me like that? Can I love me and my life as it is right now? Because it's, it's not going to change like that. It's going to take me it's gonna take a lot of time. <laughs> like, um, yeah, I've never been blind before. And there's no, like, computer download. <laughs> like, if there was just a chip I could stick in my brain where I got, like, a system update, like, hey, you know, now your system is operable with being blind. But it doesn't work like that. So, uh, yeah. Uh, navigating a lot of stuff that's coming up for me. And feeling really crazy. And scary. And lonely. And whew, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, So as much as I am feeling all this stuff, you know, where I was a week ago in this stuff, it's very different. I, um, it's feeling less heavy. Um, a week ago, I started feeling like I was going deep into my depression again, and I started getting some really scary thoughts, um, recurring thoughts, and traumatic memories from my history, like tapes that just kept playing over and over again. And it's really scary when that happens, when you're just like bombarded with visuals and memories of really horrible experiences that happened. Um, and then when you don't have vision, there's another added layer of it because it's harder to orient to, you know, to what's going on outside and say, oh, I'm not there now, you know? Um, so that's, that's, that's like a whole, like, I feel like, whew, you know what? I'm going to go look on YouTube land and see if anyone else has talked about like navigating intense trauma while going blind, you know, how does trauma affect a blind person? How does going blind affect a person that has had a lot of trauma? <sighs> yeah, that's where I'm at. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to go now. I just want to pop in, do it a little diarying or diarrheaing is what it feels like sometimes. And um, yeah. Thank you all for your support. I um, I have been turtling up a little more um, these parts of me. 
that I'm dancing with right now and learning to make friends with and some of them let go of, some of them rediscover and they're really hard to let myself be seen in. Um, I'm carrying stuff that um, I carry shame around and yeah, even admitting I have shame is hard. <laughs>